Right. Hello everybody. This is going to be another take, but fuck it. I may appear slightly somber. That's because I figured something out, which I will get into later in the video. Um, I ordered a package from Amazon. It was a Arrow video release of Baisenois. French, if you're listening, if anyone is French out there, tell me if that's pronounced correctly. Baisenois. Yes, I'm aware it's foul language. It's basically this film. I have this already, but I wasn't aware that this, released in 2003, was cut. It had two pieces cut from it. Um, I'm not going to go into the film because it's quite explicit and I haven't got notes or anything like that and I want to keep this less than five minutes if I can. It's quite explicit. It involves an attack and then Thelma and Louise style revenge action which ends very badly for Missy on the screen here. So the two cuts which I found out later um, involved I do this a lot, apologies but I have an itchy nose and I'm doing this I fidget I fidget, you, you're going to have to get used to me fidgeting Hey, I fidget hey. Um, when I think I do this, this, this what can you say I lost my train of thought I'll go to the next station and find it. Um, but our, that was released in 2003. This 2003 by Universal. Now, I didn't, wasn't aware that Arrow released it until recently. I found out in 2013. Yeah, it's upside down at the minute. Uh, of course, can't, you know, just so you can see I'm pulling it out. Um, Arrow released a copy of it. Now, this is uncut. It has the two scenes that were cut restored. Essentially, uh, the attack scene, it, the, there was a couple of seconds worth of the shot of the penetration cut. And later in the film... Uh, one of the girls shoves a gun up a man's poo-poo spot and that get got removed. Now, when Arrow petitioned the BBFC, they put out a huge blog post about how when cuts were originally made to the film, they were, they were different rules. They weren't as in-depth, but they were still strict. Now, when it was petitioned by Arrow, or however you want to call it, to have the rating and have the cuts restored, it's they basically went into this huge blog post about how it didn't glamorize the attack. It didn't wasn't intended for people to get happy feelings from seeing. So they restored the cuts. And it resulted in the full uncut. And when I say full uncut, 73 minutes, right? 73 minutes, 74 minutes. That's how long it is. Now, this has extras like, um, I, I don't know if the, this one has the um, English subtitles. I have to check. Main soundtrack. Oh, goes to show how long it's been since I've actually watched it. This this edition is English spoken. It's been a long time since I've watched it. Well, it came out in two thousand three. Um, this has French audio, and I'm huge for my original audio tracks. If it has Italian audio, watch it Italian. If it has, I mean, for example, for example. Phenomena. 
I watched this, even though Donald Pleasance and Jennifer Connelly's in it, I watched this with the full Italian audio track with English subtitles, which meant for Mr. Pleasance and Jennifer Connelly, their voices were dubbed in Italian. Um, which I didn't mind, but it was better than for that specific film. It was better than having, this is no, I mean, five minutes, it's already over five minutes. It was better than having uh, halfway through the film when cuts were made because Arrow, Arrow, great job. They release everything uncut and there was no English audio for the cuts that were made. So it would go right up to that point, cuts restored, Italian spoken. So there's that. So yeah, I have I like my original audios. So yeah, this I was happy to see. Happy to see I released it. Now dun dun da This is supposed to have inside it a collector's booklet. Be very careful with some of the imagery there. It's supposed to have a 16 page collector's booklet. Doesn't. Amazon have been very very kind. I informed them I did not want to return it. I just wanted the booklet. And the uh, gentleman, I think his name was Om. That's the initials they gave him. O O M. Om. And he spoke with broken English, so I can only assume he wasn't English, first language, and friendly knew exactly what was what what was upsetting me, and I asked. He said, "I'm going to send you out a new copy, and you can take the booklet from it and then return it as faulty." And I was like, say, "Cool. Do you mind if I return this in the locker because I don't have." I don't have access to a printer. So, gen again, kind gentleman, he said, ooh, let me check. A minute later. I'm sorry, I can't do that. And I was like, oh, um, well, how do you want me to return it then? And he's like, no, I can't send you a replacement. I was like, so, so I'm thinking, damn. Whoops, sorry, YouTube. Um, and with that, he said, I tell you what, I have issued you a refund. Now you can repurchase it and dispose of the old copy. So what I'm going to do is when the new one comes, I'm going to keep that as is. I'm going to take the booklet out and put it in this, but I'm a perfectionist and this is a DVD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the disc of that one in the case with the sleeve. I may change the art around so I can put it on my shelf, but I'm going to do that because I don't want to just throw the disc away if it's a useful disc. So thank you, Amazon. You've been wonderful. Now, I intended this to be about five minutes. It's eight minutes long gone. It's almost nine minutes. So I would like to take this last section to thank all my new subscribers. Thank my wife, Rosie, Tristan, Boudica, um, there's a load of them. I went from one to six and I'd probably more by now. So uh, if you don't have your subscribers, like your subscript, who you're subscribed to, if you do not have that as public, I won't know who I won't be able to find out who subscribed to me. So thank you all. You're all wonderful. And I will see you see if I can get a good thumbnail. There we go. Yeah, right. So I will see you all in the next video.